Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to go over how to record a mortgage payment. I've done so many cleanups, so many QuickBooks cleanups so far. Most of the time, I've seen the mortgage payments being recorded simply as a payment towards the mortgage, which is not true when you pay the mortgage, you are not only paying your mortgage loan down, you are paying interest on that too. So mortgage payments need to be divided between the principal payment and the interest. So let's see how that's done. First thing you need to do is log into your QuickBooks Online. Let's go over a payment. We're going to click on New expense we are going to pay chase bank for our mortgage how are we paying from our bank account payment date is 10 1 let's say we are paying five thousand dollars to our towards our mortgage we are going to say mortgage payable is going to be thirty five hundred interest expense is $1,500. That makes up the $5,000 mortgage payment. How do you get this information now? This information should be on the mortgage statement. When you look at your mortgage statement, banks always, always break it down into what the principal is and what the interest expense is. And if there's an escrow component, we can create an escrow account as well. Escrow, which is basically our asset. So we say other print asset. It's an escrow account that stays with the bank until they pay taxes out of it. Save and close, and that's it. This is how you would record it. In this example, we don't have any escrow, but if you do, you will break it down into escrow as well. And this is how you would record it. Save and close. And that's it. That's how simple it is.